I am now going to move to the next piece of the program. And to do that, I'm going to introduce uh, Dan Huntlocker. Dan is the inaugural dean of MIT's new Schwarzman College of Computing. Uh, Dan is joining us today via Zoom, but he's actually live there. So we'll go. Dan, I hope you can hear us, and it's over to you. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. I do. Thank, thank, thank you, Jim. Uh, so I'm delighted to have the opportunity to welcome you all to the afternoon session of this Advances in the Quest to Understanding Natural Intelligence. Uh, sorry, I'm not there in person with you all. It would be fun. Uh, so I just want to make a few comments uh, related to the college and the quest. Uh, so while computing is quite widespread in academic work, uh, there's something that's much less common, which is the fusion of the leading edge of computing and other disciplines uh, in a manner that advances both of them. This is one of the core objectives of the College of Computing, which is catalyzing such infusion of the forefront of computing in other fields and doing so both in research and in education. So the Quest is a paradigmatic example of this objective, bringing together the forefront of AI, neuroscience, and cognitive science research, and doing so to address uniquely important goal of understanding human intelligence in computational terms. We believe that this new understanding will have payoffs in advancing academic research in all three of those fields, as well as payoffs in health, education, and many other areas of societal importance. The Center for Brains, Minds, and Machines has positioned MIT to lead in this area. Perhaps most notably, the community of researchers and staff that the CBMM NSF grant has enabled is at the core of this effort. And now the quest is MIT's way of carrying this vision forward more broadly, and with the help of our supporters, supercharging it and taking it to the next level. The college is building a platform for research and education that infuses computing with other disciplines. And as part of that, uh, the quest will have various kinds of uh, uh, interactions with and support from the college and will support the college conversely. As one part of that, the quest will have space in the new college building, which is slated to open next fall and is adjacent uh, and connected to building 46 via the atrium. The new building is going to support both research that infuses the forefront of computing with other disciplines and core CS and AI research uh, and have space uh, for uh, education. It will also include space for sort of special semesters that can help seed or advance leading edge work, regardless of whether it's part of an existing activity or center. One of the key means by which the college is catalyzing the infusion of computing and other disciplines is the hiring of at least 25 new junior faculty whose work will help departments across MIT lead computational advances in their field or fields uh, while also furthering core areas of computing such as CS and AI. We call these faculty shared faculty because they have a tenure home in a department somewhere at MIT combined with a joint appointment in a unit of the college and their teaching activities and usually their research activities as well, help catalyze change in fields at MIT and change in MIT's education. Two of these shared faculty have been hired recently in brain and cognitive science together with the ECS department, which is helping support the quest and its vision of bringing together the forefront of AI, neuroscience, and cognitive science research. And in fact, we'll be hearing from one of them uh, this afternoon, Robert Yang. On the education front, through the Common Ground for Computing Education, the college is developing new cross-cutting subjects and curricula that reflect perspectives of multiple departments and programs so that it can complement individual departmental offerings. The college is also working with departments on what we term blended majors, which combine computing and some other discipline. And uh, the great example of that is course 6-9, Computation and Cognition, uh, it's, which is particularly pertinent uh, to the quest. It's now the fifth largest major at MIT as of this fall, and it's actually, I think, about six times larger than the course nine major uh, as of this fall. As I mentioned before, while the college serves as a platform to help support activities such as the Quest, in the end, the, these activities are, are really what's defining and supporting the college, because the college is only a collection of departments and programs relevant to its goals. 
and the achievements of those departments and programs. So the Quest really plays a, a central and leading role in helping the college uh, through its research missions. For example, work on understanding human intelligence, particularly in this, uh, in this way that uh, infuses these disciplines together, can involve bridging very different scales and these um, scales can parallel and potentially interact with analogous scales of computing from materials to devices to algorithms to systems, both natural and engineered. And this offers the opportunity to create connections with a wide range of disciplines and departments all around computing and those disciplines. And we'll be hearing about some nascent such connections in some of the talks this afternoon. The Quest and the college would not be possible without the help of a number of supporters, some of whom are joining us today. And to you, we're really deeply grateful. So with that, let's turn to this afternoon's program. Thank you all very much.